What is up, guys? This is Between the Pylons, and I'm your host, John Camacho. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this is another episode of uh, the draft profile series that I am doing. Today, we're going to be talking about KJ Hill, another wide receiver that has been showing out at the Senior Bowl. Guys, if, if you get a chance, go on Twitter. Um, there's a lot of videos out there of just him absolutely dusting people uh, in one-on-one -on -one drills. Uh, so much so that I actually moved him up in my route running uh, rankings, and you'll see when we get to the film. You know, quickness is no doubt. You're not gonna you're not gonna doubt his uh, his ability to move and uh, his shiftiness. But you know, I I didn't realize how clean of a route runner he was until I saw some of these videos. So do yourself a favor, check that out. All right, so we're gonna get right into it here with uh, the KJ Hill skills chart. Um, as you can see. Really, really good player all the way around. Contested catch, that's not his thing. It's not what he's going to be able to do. Again, body control, not his thing. Apparently blocking, not his thing. Um, that's not a huge uh, issue. I mean, he's, you know, six foot, 190 pounds probably. So he, you probably don't expect him to be blocking, you know, the the linebackers and stuff that you, you he'll see a lot in the uh, – in, in the uh, slot. So, you know, that's something, and that's also something you can work on. I'm not super worried about that. Uh, thing needs to be noticed, uh, route running, very, very good. Uh, quickness out of this world. His ability with the ball in his hands is uh, is his probably elite trait. That's something that, that you know, teams are going to have to find creative ways to get him the ball because that's what he needs. Uh, put the ball in his hand, he's going to do uh, work. Uh, cuts, uh, change of direction. His 40 time, I'm projecting to be really good. Uh, love his acceleration. Love his release off the line. I'm, I'm a really big uh, fan of KJ Hill. I think he's uh, going to be one of the best slot receivers that I have uh, in this class. I, I, I really believe that. All right, here we go with the uh, film on uh, KJ Hill here. Um, right off the bat. Um, what I want to do first is just show his ability, ball in his hands, and, and this is a pretty mundane play. Uh, he actually doesn't get a lot of yards, but just what I love right here, skirt. <laughs> I absolutely love that. I mean, he just, that is a microcosm of what he does. I mean, he will make the first man miss. You're not taking him down with the first guy on defense, and this is pretty much the exact same play. Um, gets a few more yards, just elusiveness. His ability to uh, get yards uh, after the catch, that's, like I said, that's his elite trait, and I wanted to show that off first. Uh, Ohio State did this a lot with him. Just get him the ball, let him uh, get 5 to 10 yards the hard way, and uh, he'll do it. Um, right here, this is from the national, or excuse me, not the national championship. This is from the, uh, the uh, playoffs uh, for the national championship uh, against Clemson here. And this isn't a catch, and I understand that, but watch 14. Let's actually show this from the beginning. Watch 14 off the line in the slot uh, against his own coverage. Absolutely. I mean, there, there's no chance for this uh, safety. You can tell he's, he's uh, kind of uh, in a bad spot right here. Unfortunately, the quarterback doesn't put him in the best spot in the uh, – the safety is able to catch up to it, and he acts like it was all him, but it's not. Um, yeah, this ball should have been right here. KJ Hill shouldn't have had to slow down. This ball, should, this should have been uh, probably right around here. Instead, he puts it high and uh, KJ, and gives this guy right here a chance to uh, undercut it. This isn't KJ Hill's fault. It was still a really good route, um, and I had no issue with that play at all. An NFL quarterback puts that in the right spot and it gets caught. Um, and please don't at me. I, I understand that Ohio State quarterback, uh, very good. Um, but he's still young. He's learning. It's okay. I'm not trying to shit on him. Uh, don't make that what this is. Uh, watch this here. Okay, sorry, I lost him. So this is his route running. This is what I, I really want to show. Um, look at this. Just so smooth. Uh, so easy. Uh, he, he just absolutely eats over the middle of the field. He's going to beat you. He could do the corner route. He can go in. Uh, he's going to beat you a hundred different ways with stuff like that and uh, get you 10, yard, 10 to 15 yards. He's a possession receiver uh, and he does it very, very well. And the last thing I wanted to show here, uh, the ball doesn't go his way. This is pretty much a, a planned uh, throw to the running back. 
Uh, but watch his release off the line. I, I'm a I'm a big fan of this. Uh, he's right here in the slot. Just just really really well done. Uh, easily gets gets in front of the receiver. Uh, gives him a little juke. Love what he does. Gets inside. Um, yeah, that's that's KJ that's KJ Hill. All right, so that's uh, KJ Hill. Uh, I think he is a locked and loaded second or third round pick. I think he's uh, a great slot receiver at the next level. Uh, I really love what he brings to the table, and I'm going to show you guys my final grade for him. Uh, just so, just to be clear, this can change. You know, the uh, the this is kind of my guess on what the numbers will be from the. Uh, from the combine, so it's not, it's about 85% uh, out there, and the rest is just a guess. So this will change a little bit, but these are the two numbers I want you to focus on. Uh, he's a slot receiver, 6.2 uh, slot receiver, which is really good. I have him as a second-round pick, but I have a lot of receivers as a second-round pick, and some of them are going to end up falling to the third round. So it just depends on what teams want uh, from their uh, receiver, and if they're looking for a guy that can go over the middle and I feel like catch everything, uh, this is going to be an option for a lot of teams. Uh, really, really good player, and I'm really excited to see where he ends up because if he ends up in a uh, system that will uh, get, find unique ways and clever ways to get him the ball, it's just going to be that much better. I, I'd love to see him on the Saints uh, paired up with Michael Thomas. I think that'd be awesome. Um, a, a trendy thing to say 49ers don't really need him um but you know some somewhere like that i'd love to see him like that maybe even the uh the vikings could use him as the third receiver because they don't have a third receiver at all but all right guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe uh follow this channel for uh more draft profiles leave a comment if you want a specific uh guy profiled i will get to it uh, right now, I'm really just doing running backs and uh, receivers, so you'll see a lot more of those before I move on to um, other positions. But I am going to get to all positions. Uh, I do have a podcast that I do with uh, with my good friend Jacob Waters, and uh, we put that out every week. That's really, really great stuff. Uh, it's a lot of in-depth uh, draft talk, uh, in-depth football talk in general. Um, so check that out. I think it's a really good one at Between the Pylons Podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, follow me on Twitter as well, at Between Pylons. Peace out, guys. Bye.